For 60 years, the library has been engaging, informing, enriching, and educating the residents of the Village of Niles, unincorporated Displains, and unincorporated Glenview. On a personal level, I've come here since the 1970s. I used to study here because I was living at home going to Loyola University, and uh, there was never enough quiet space in that house. I, there was always something going on. So I would either go here to study, or I'd stay on campus at Lakeshore and, and do my studying there. But I always had fond memories when this place was very much smaller than it is today. Today it's a magnificent, it's an edifice to, to what you're trying to do here. Back when the library began, it was books, and that's really all that was needed. But it was never really just books. It always took people. It, uh, <laughs> it took a visionary board to decide to build a library building in the first place. It took library directors like Carrie Zarnicki, who has joined us here tonight. It took a library director like my mentor, the courageous and forward-thinking Linda Weiss, who worked with her board to update the library and get it ready for people in this new age and in, and in the years to come. And then there's the staff. The staff that worked before, and we have many of them here with us tonight. We're so happy you're here. And the 106 members of the library staff today. But I'd like to say a few words about uh, Winifred Kazuka, our honored guest tonight. In the mid-1950s, Winifred discovered that Niles did not have a library. She brought this problem to the attention of the Niles Women's Club, who enthusiastically volunteered to gather and organize the donations of books to form our first library. This library grew from a small collection of books housed in the Niles Village Hall, to a room in a park district, field house, and to the renovated storefront right across the street, somewhere, <laughs> to this very building at our present location. On its 60th anniversary, the Niles Main District Library extends to you, Winifred Hazuka, a sincere and heartfelt thank you very much. Ton of favorite memories but I was thinking about it a little bit and I decided my favorite group of memories is when the Harry Potter books were coming out and we had lots of Harry Potter parties and it just was a huge celebration of reading and it brought so many kids who didn't think that they could read long books into the fold of actual readers that it was a very exciting time and we just loved the books so it's very fun. to say my happiest and fondest memories of being here at the library has been with my grandchildren. They are so enthusiastic and excited whenever I mention coming to the library and they immediately take off in two different directions <laughs> and know exactly what they want to do and where to find it and they know to go up to the librarian in the children's department and get help and everybody here in the children's department is phenomenal. I want to thank you. My most memorable um, time in the library, I think, would have to be on that memorable 9-11 day. People just came into the library and they just wanted to talk and we turned the TV on and we just did a, an impromptu thing in the meeting room so that the public could come in and sit and watch and talk if they wanted. We put coffee out and we just kind of were responding to the needs of the community and it really struck me that day and as I think of that day, I think more and more about how this particular library has always responded to the needs of the community. Happy 60th anniversary to the library. I'm so happy that I was able to be a part of it for um, that those 26 years. Uh, 
Happy 60th anniversary and many more to come. Here's to another 60 years of the Niles Main District Library. We say Niles Main Library! Woo